either. Well, hello, pray and share warriors. I've got a little effect thing going up on, on going on on Facebook. I know my lipstick looks a little strange, but I just kind of like the little twinkly lights. I hope it doesn't uh, bother anyone. If it does, let me know. I just like effects. I have on my other camera. I have red roses and some kind of things coming out. I don't know. Anyway, well, hello again, Pray and Share Warriors, and um, I want to continue our discussion about the power through Jesus. Um, these twinkly things are kind of bugging me, but I don't know. We might hang with them for a little while. I may take them off in a minute. Okay, so I wrote this lesson um, for jail ministry. Uh, 2.18.20 like before COVID hit I wrote this so I wanted to talk about that I just didn't feel very good about the discussion last night I didn't feel like it really said as much as I wanted to say so I found this and I wrote this on February the 18th uh, through the Holy Spirit of last year, so about a year ago. And I just wanted to talk about the power of Jesus again. And then tomorrow night we're going to talk about the power of the Holy Spirit. Okay. So let's jump into prayer. And I'm sorry I was late. But I was just, I don't even have my Bible over here yet. I just, I don't know where my time went. I guess I decided I'd eat dinner, like really late. Probably should have just skipped it because I had plenty for lunch. But anyway. Alright, so I have my Waymaker t-shirt on. Waymaker, Promise Keeper, uh, Miracle Worker, Light in the Darkness, my God, that is who you are. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. All right, well, let's pray. Let's go to God in prayer. God, we just praise you and thank you for all that you are and for all that you do. We just pray, God, that um, you would help us. Help us to walk in your power. And help us to see your power more. Help us, God, to see that you are the great I am and that you are the great Jehovah. Help us to remember that you are our everlasting Father. God, you are our creator, our sustainer, our provider, our protector. God, you are our shelter in the storm. And you are our healer. And you are so much more, God. Just so much more. You are miraculous. You are the way maker. You are the miracle worker. You are the promise keeper. You are the light in the darkness. You are all those things, God, and so much more. You are miraculous and powerful and mighty, but yet you are loving and compassionate and kind and forgiving and patient. God, you are so patient. God, we just thank you. We just thank you for all the many blessings that you've bestowed upon us. We pray for all the sick people that we know, God. We just lift them up to you and just pray that you would heal their bodies, that they would feel your presence, God. We just pray for um, the lost. We pray that you would open their eyes and ears to the truth, that you would allow the Holy Spirit to draw them to Jesus so they could be saved. We pray for the prodigals to come home, God. We just pray for them to repent and to return to you. And we pray for all the disasters, God. Another disaster in Texas, God, today. A truck hit a train. And there was an explosion, God. So we just pray for all that are involved in that. The first responders, everyone, God. We just pray that you would be with them. And if they're injured, God, please heal them. And God, if there were any fatalities, then please be with these families. God, there's just so much going on all the time just so much 
but it's okay because you are in control and you are on your throne, God. And you said at this time that things would be like that. It would be like birth pangs. That is what Jesus told us. It would be like birth pangs. And as birth pangs are, they get closer and closer and more and more intense. And then the delivery comes. And then our delivery will be when Jesus comes to get us. So thank you, God. We just praise you and thank you. We thank you that you give Jesus the power that he has. He can break the chains of addiction, God. His name is so powerful. All brokenness is healed. All bodies are healed. All bodies are raised in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay. So hard to get up. I'm getting to where I look back and see if my cat's there. Hang on one second. I'm going to go get my Bible. I don't even have music set up yet. I was talking to one of my friends and I'm, it seems like I've spent the whole day talking to people. My daughter's cat passed away and it's just kind of been a sad day. That's my grand cat. And I don't know if any of you grandmothers have grand animals, but in our family we do. And so just made us kind of it's a sad day today. They are like our furry children. And uh, I don't know what's wrong with my computer. Well, that is not what I wanted. I don't know why it keeps sending stuff there. Okay, well, my hair is not red. And um, it's just something to do with this. Thing that I don't know whether I'm going to be able to stand to have it on or not. I wish there were just some normal uh, things, more normal things than some of the things that are on Facebook. But anyway, it's okay. We're going to roll with it. <clears throat> so I'm listening to, again, There is Power by Lincoln Brewster and uh, I shared it yesterday it's on this site right here if you want to go listen to it later or if you want to turn it on now and listen to it while I talk that's fine too excuse me okay so what I titled this was power through Jesus our chain breaker and I wrote this on February the 18th of 2020. Delivered it to jail ministry um, on February 18th, 2020. And this may have some verses that we looked up last night, but I am not sure. I'm just not sure. Okay, so power is a word we hear all the time. It's one that we hear all the time. Last week, people didn't have power, <laughs> like electricity power. This is a different kind of power. So what does the word power mean to you? Where do we find power? And Jesus is our power source that we must plug into to receive his power. We alone have no power. We have no power. While I wrote this lesson through the Holy Spirit, I listened to... There is power in the name of Jesus. Now, this is the one by Jesus Culture. This is not what I'm listening to right now. Um, and I like the one by Jesus Culture also. It's a different song. But um, think about all the chains of addiction that we live with daily. Think about all the power that Jesus encompasses in reference to what he has done in the past, present, and will do in the future. In my life of 60 years now, it, I wrote in here 59, I have seen some very powerful moves spiritually. 
There have been many events that can't be explained otherwise. And that's true. There, there are powerful things that happen every day that cannot be explained except that it is God, Jesus, or the Holy Spirit. And it is their power and their power alone. So let's start reading John 1, uh, 1 through 17. And so this is a different story than what we read last night. John. I've got to find John. John, i got to find John. John 1, 1 through 17. I may have to get up in a minute and go put something on, else on for my son to watch. Okay, John 1, 1 through 17. And this is, um, this is Christ's ascension. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. And the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light, that all men through him might believe. He was not the light, he, he was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. Okay, the light that they're talking about is Jesus. When John was not Jesus. John was the precursor to Jesus. That was the true light which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. That's Jesus. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. You know, we read that last night, that um, Jesus was preaching in Galilee, and he said that prophets are not believed in their own home. Not in those exact words, but that's what he meant. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become power to become the sons of God, even to the, them that believe on his name. Because through Jesus, we have power. But we only have power through Jesus. We do not have power on our own. We have no power on our own. Our power comes through Jesus, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. John bare witness of Him, and cried, saying, this was he of whom I spake. He that cometh after me is prefer preferred before me. For he was before me. And of his fullness have all we received. And grace for grace. For the law was given by Moses. But grace, the truth, came by Jesus Christ. No man hath seen God at any time. The only begotten Son, which is in the bosom of the Father, he hath declared him. And this is the record of John, the Jews, sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, Who art thou? And so I'm going to stop right there. But what he's saying is that Jesus, where was it? No man hath seen God at any time. Jesus has seen God. Jesus was with God on the day of creation. Um, let's flip over to Genesis. It's, it's so... God's perfect timing. 
I'm going to quit saying crazy. I used to say it's so crazy. It's so, but it's God's perfect timing. I read this this morning in my Jesus Always. This was, these two verses were part of my verses this morning. So, um, let's see, where is it? Okay, Genesis 1, 26, And God said, Let us make man in our own image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So, we as humankind have dominion over all the animals. We have dominion over them. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. So according to God, there's two genders. That's a male and a female. That's what he created. And, um, but I just wanted to read about um, that Jesus was at creation. No. Nope. I got my remote. Okay, I'll be right back. I've got to go find him something to watch. I'm the only adult. I'm the only one adulting right now. And I'm so sorry for the interruption. Um, I was busy before I came in here or I would have already found him something. So hang on a second. I will be back. I promise. I need a sign. Okay, so sorry. So sorry, so sorry. That's what happens when you're at home and you're adulting by yourself. Then you have to adult. Okay, or parent. You have to parent. Okay, so Jesus, oh, okay. Jesus came to earth in the flesh to show the world the power that he possessed through God the Father. He came to glorify God the Father. He came to heal, teach, love, and forgive all that had need. He came to show compassion and love to all that he came in contact with. When we plug into the source of Jesus, he will heal us, teach us, love us, and forgive us. His compassion and love never fails. Okay. So Jesus demonstrated the power of God while he was on earth walking with his apostles and people he came in contact with. He used this power to perform many miracles in the Bible. He has the same authority as God, as the Son of God. Let's read Matthew 9, 1 through 8. Okay, so far this isn't the same that we read last night, so that's good. I didn't want um, to be repetitive. Although the, the Bible is great. I don't mind being repetitive. Okay, 9, 1 through 8. Okay, and he entered into a ship and passed over and came into his own city. And behold, they brought to him a man sick of the palsy, lying on a bed. 
And Jesus, seeing their faith, said unto the sick of the palsy, Son, be of good cheer, thy sins be forgiven thee. And behold, certain of the scribes said within themselves, This man blasphemeth. And Jesus, knowing their thoughts, said, Wherefore think ye evil in your hearts? For whether is easier to say, Thy sins be forgiven thee, or to say, Arise and walk, but that ye may know that the Son of Man hath power on earth to forgive sins. Then saith he to the sick of the palsy, Arise, take up thy bed, and go unto thine house. And he arose and departed to his house. But when the multitude saw it, they marveled and glorified God, which had given such power unto men. And as Jesus passed forth from thence, he saw a man named Matthew, sitting at the receipt of custom, and he saith unto him, Follow me. And he arose and followed him. Is that the end? Yeah, actually I went one verse more. I went one through nine. I do that sometimes because I just start reading and it is just so good. It is just so good. So Jesus has been given the power to forgive sins and to heal the sick like God. Jesus came to demonstrate the power of God. Jesus came to show that power in front of people, like in front of their eyes. You know, the God of the Old Testament would do that. He would come and he would show his power from heaven. He wouldn't come, but he would show his power from heaven. He did meet with Moses, though, so he, he did come to the earth. But he came as Jesus, too, and he came, he didn't come as a, an army captain. He, Jesus came as a humble servant. He was willing to serve. He came in humility and love and compassion, offering forgiveness and healing. Okay, so let's read Luke 4. 31 through 37. I thought I heard my door open. I hope it's my husband. I usually lock the door. 437. And the fame of him went out into every place uh, of the country round about. And he arose out of the synagogue and entered into Simon's house. And Simon's wife's mother was taken with a great fever, and they besought him for her. And he stood over her and rebuked the fever, and it left her. And immediately she arose and ministered to them. So, again, a healing. Yeah, 31. Yeah. Well, wait. I'm sorry. I think I read the wrong thing. Let's start with 31. 431 through 37. And came down to Capernaum, a city of Galilee, and taught them on the Sabbath days. And they were astonished at his doctrine, for his word was with power. And in the synagogue there was a man which had a spirit of an unclean devil, and cried out with a loud voice, saying, Let us alone, what have we to do with thee, thou Jesus of Nazareth? Art thou come to destroy us? I know thee who, art, who thou art, the Holy One of God. And Jesus rebuked him, saying, Hold thy peace, and come out of him. And when the devil had thrown him in the midst, he came out of him, and heard him not. And they were all amazed, and spake among themselves, saying, What a word is this? For with authority and power he commandeth the unclean spirits, and they came out. And the fame of him went out into every place of the country round about. So that's what I was wanting to read. Jesus showed the people and his apostles that he has the power to cast out demons. The power of Jesus remains the same today, just like his love for us remains the same. 
spiritual warfare goes on around us all the time. In this room, spiritual warfare is going on. Right now there is some massive spiritual warfare that y'all can't see, that I can't see, because we're talking about Jesus. And our enemy does not like it when we speak of Jesus. In our minds, constantly we battle with our thoughts of not being good enough. The lies of Satan are constant, and the only way to overcome these battles is to tap into our one true power source, Jesus, the most powerful name of all. Okay, so let's read John 17.2. Now, I did this on Facebook in March of last year, like after the lockdown that's when I started doing this on Facebook and now I've expanded to YouTube I have awesome treasures 777 on YouTube and also I am sharing on gab also from YouTube and on gab I am awesome treasures ministry if you're on gab I'm really I'm liking some alternatives I'm just gonna say that Okay, so John, that's what God, God wanted to open a new door this year, and that's what he wanted me to open, was to expand to other platforms, and I'm also going to expand to Rumble, but I really haven't had a chance to work on uh, pictures and things on there, but I have, I'm doing everything on my computer that has all my pictures on it like tons of pictures that I've used for uh, pictorial lyric videos for Christian music. So I've got tons of pictures on this computer. And so I'm going to get Rumble up and going too. Okay. So John 17.2 says this. As thou hast given him power over all flesh that he should give eternal life to, excuse me, to as many as thou hast given him. And this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only one, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. So Jesus was praying to God. Oh, wait a minute. This is the wrong place. Hmm. Hang on a second. <laughs> I know what story I'm looking for. John 17, 2. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. All right. I'm going to start with one because that makes more sense. These words spake Jesus and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said. So this was before Jesus got captured by the Romans. Father, the hour is come. Glorify thy son, that thy son also may glorify thee, as thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. And this is life eternal that they, they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. And now, O Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world, Thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. Now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. For I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me, and thou have received them, and have known surely that I came from thee, and they have believed that thou didst send me. I pray for them, I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, 
for they are thine, and all mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in thee. And now I am no more in the world, and these are in the world. And I come to thee, Holy Father, keep through thine own name whose, whom thou hast given me, and they may be one as we are. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Those that thou gavest me I have kept, and none of them is lost, but the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. And now come I to thee, and these things I speak in the world, that they might have my joy fulfilled in themselves. I have given them thy word, and the world hath hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldst keep them from the evil. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them through thy truth, thy word is truth. As thou hast sent me into the world, even so I have also sent them into the world. And for their sakes I sanctify myself, that they also might be sanctified through the truth. Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word that they all may be one, as thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me. And the glory which thou gavest me I have given them, that they may be one, even as we are one, I in them, and thou in me, that they may be made perfect in one, and that the world may know that thou hast sent me, and hast loved me as thou hast loved me. Father, I will that they also whom thou hast given me be with me where I am, and they may behold my glory, which thou hast given me, for thou lovest me before the foundation of the world. O righteous Father, the world hath not known thee, but I have known thee, and these have known that thou hast sent me, and I have declared unto them thy name, and will declare it, that the love wherewith thou hast loved me may be in them, and I in them. That is so good. That is so good. That is so good. That is so good. That is so awesome. But this was before... Jesus got, um, this version doesn't say that, it doesn't say, because Jesus prayed, where is it? Okay, in the other versions, it, it is Jesus. You know, Jesus prays for God to take, remove the cup. Let me see if I can find that real quick. Because Jesus was, Jesus knew what he was facing. Oh, here we are. It is actually in Matthew. Um, and this is what Jesus said to God. My soul is exceedingly sorrowful even unto death. Tarry ye here and watch with me. Well, actually, that's what he told Peter. Then he went and he prayed. He fell on his face and prayed, saying, O oh, my Father, if it be possible... Let this cup pass from me, nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou wilt. 
And he cometh unto the disciples, and findeth them asleep, and saith unto Peter, What could ye not watch with me for one hour? Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. He went away again the second time and prayed, saying, O oh, my father, if this cup may not pass away from me, except I drink it, thy will be done. And he came and found them asleep again, for their eyes were heavy. And he left them and went away again and prayed the third time. So he went and prayed three times, three times, saying the same words. Then cometh he to his disciples, and saith unto them, Sleep on now, and take your rest. Behold, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Rise, let us be going. Behold, he is at hand, that doth betray me. So three times. I'm going to make this correction on this lesson. I might have done it when I... Look, that is Matthew... Because that's not in John. Um, maybe 37 through Matthew. Matthew 26. 37 through 46. Okay. Because that's a better depiction of what I wrote. <laughs> Jesus was praying to God to remove the cup of death from his life. He prayed three times. Jesus did not have to go to the cross, but he willingly went to be our last blood sacrifice for God. There is power in the blood. You know, that is something that I thought this morning, too. I thought there is power in the blood of Jesus. Um... Red is a color of power, so the world says, but so does the Bible, because that was powerful when Jesus bled and took on our sin and shame. That was power. The blood cleanses our sins. The blood covers our sins. The blood saves our souls. This was the ultimate demonstration of Jesus while he was on earth to lay down his life in such a cruel and horrible way. He knew as God did what it would be like, knowing the hearts that would be beating him and crucifying him. You know, that's something that the Holy Spirit shared with me when I wrote this, is that God knows all hearts and minds. We do not, we do not know all hearts and minds. We are not the judge of mankind. God is. But when Jesus was on the cross, looking down at every one of those people, the ones that hated him, the ones that loved him, he knew their hearts. He knew their minds. He loved the very people that beat him and crucified him. Because God loves all. So that's pretty mind-blowing. I need to plug my phone in. I don't think it's fixing to die, but you never know. I have been on it a lot today. So I'm going to plug it in real quick. My computer is good. So you might see something pop up there in a minute. Let me get it plugged in right. Okay. So I had 27%. Okay. So let's read Matthew 28, 16 through 20. 28, 16 through 20. Uh, then the eleven disciples went away into Galilee, into a mountain where Jesus had appointed them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him. But... Excuse me, but some doubted. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Now we did read this last night. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, 
teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. And it says amen after that. The same power that held Jesus on the cross raised him from the grave after three days. He showed himself to his apostles and about four or five hundred other people. And while he ascended, um, he showed himself to his apostles and others while he ascended to the right hand side of God. All power has been given to him in heaven and in earth. He commissioned us to share this power source with others. Not to hide it, but to share it. So we must share the power of Jesus. We must. We must share this power. So do you believe today that the power of Jesus can break all chains? can break all addictions. It can heal hearts and bodies. Reconcile relationships that are broken. Revive our souls. Change our lives. Show us a better path. Help us to make better choices. And overall, fight every battle we have going on now or in the future. So if you have not been saved by Jesus, by the power, if you have not been saved by the power of the blood of Jesus, then today could be the day for you to tap into the best power source of all. Is Jesus your Savior today? So, um, I'm going to say this prayer and I'm going to leave space for you to um, for you to pray if you would like. If you would like to accept Jesus as your Savior. Jesus, I come to you today as a sinner. Please forgive me. I believe that you came to earth. You died a very cruel death for me. You were buried for three days. You rose on the third day and you ascended to the right hand of God. I believe that you, Jesus, are the Savior of the world. I invite you into my heart to be my Savior and Lord today and forever. Thank you for your gift of salvation. I believe it and receive it today. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So if you said that prayer, then welcome to the kingdom family of God. The angels in heaven are rejoicing. And your name is being written in the Lamb's book of life. And you are now saved, sealed, and sanctified by God through Jesus. And in the Father's house, there's a place for you because Jesus went to the right hand side of God and one of the things that Jesus went to do was to prepare a place for us because he is coming to get us 
and it could be soon. I don't know. I don't set dates. I do know things are pretty crazy out there, and they don't make a lot of sense. Good is bad, and bad is good, and it's just kind of upside down, if you'll look at it. But Jesus is our overcomer, and Jesus is our power, and he will come and get us. So, um, this is my conversation, or this is my quiet time notes from this morning. Good morning, God. Good morning, child. I brought you a new day of mercies and blessings, child. A new day to get things done, child. A new day to share my truths in the gospel of Jesus. Thank you, God, for a new day of mercies and blessings. A new day to get things done, God. A new day to share your truths and the gospel of Jesus. Thank you for a good rest last night and for my experiences that can bring comfort to my daughter. Thank you for peace. Please give her and her family peace, comfort, and strength for the loss of Bob. Um, Bob was the family cat, one of the family cats. And um, animal animals passing hurts too and it is grief I lost a cat I think I shared that last night I lost my cat probably about six seven years ago it's pretty bad that I can't remember even the year either 2014 or 2015 somewhere in Facebook but I don't know if I want to scroll back that far I don't know Anyway, it does hurt. It is painful when we lose our animals. And I said, I know he is with you, God, at perfect peace and no pain. But we hurt in the absence of them. Thank you, God, for all of my blessings. I am thankful and grateful. And he said, child, you have been listening to my messengers. Continue to listen to them. I am putting them in your path. Many meetings are taking place. Many deals are being cut. Much is going on and on, on the surface and beneath the surface also. The end of this month will be memorable for so many. Going forward next month will be also. Only listen to my messengers. You know they are mine by their words and actions that line up with my truths. You know a lot about the evil side and what takes place. What is an abomination and slap in my face. This behavior has to end to protect my innocent children. It has been allowed for too long. It must end very soon. The only way for it to permanently end is for me to bring them all home with me. Never to be abused or tortured again. They all go in the rapture. Your son too. Many need to be sa saved before this date. And that is why sharing my truths in the gospel are so important. So continue being obedient to me, child. I see, that, I see all that you say clearly, God. And I will not doubt your messengers anymore. So I was doubting someone that I had been listening to. Well, several people. But they're Christians. And... What they were saying was lining up with the word. And so he's giving me confirmation that it's okay to listen to them. Because we can get drawn off and listen to people that God does not want us to listen to. And so I'm glad to have this confirmation. I said, I see this in your word. It is like these evil people have not read your word and do not realize their ending it makes me sad, but you alone are the righteous judge. Only you know hearts and minds. Just like we just read. Of the righteous and unrighteous. Thank you for meeting me again, God. I love you with my whole heart, soul, mind, and strength. Give my mama and daddy a hug, God. Give Bob and Kitty one, two. My cat's name was Kitty. And Bob was my grandcat that passed yesterday. I love you too, my child, and all of my creation here. Here, animals and people are at perfect peace, never to be sick again. 
I meet all their needs, and they are with Jesus forever. The reunion is soon, child, so be ready. And I said, Maranatha, God. And I wrote down this song, Take Me to the Beautiful, by Cloverton. And I meant to... I meant to listen to it today, but I never did. I got busy, and I never did. So I may go listen to it in a minute and see. I haven't heard it in a while. I really like that song. I don't have it on my list either. And it will mess up my camera if I do that, so I'm not going to do it. Well, my friend keeps popping in and out. She's probably getting phone calls. My friend Josie, she's the only one that comes and hangs out with me during this time normally. But I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. Um, I had to do some stuff today and I'm kind of tired. And so I'm going to get off of here and go feed my child. I do feel better about delivering this lesson over what I delivered last night. I think it makes more sense. So uh, if you have any other comments about the power of Jesus, then please put it in the comments. And here is a blessing from God, from Numbers 6, 24 through 26. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Wow, we need some peace. We really need some peace. All right. Well, I think that I am going to pray. And... Um, I feel like I've forgotten something. Maybe with the salvation, uh, if you want, if you did get saved, please put your name in the comments so I can pray for you. And if you would like a, a closer relationship with God, then uh, read His Word every day and pray and um, praise. Put some praise music on. I'm listening to praise music right now. Just got through listening to Love Like Jesus. So we all need to love like Jesus. Because Jesus loves like no other. So we all need to... I don't know whether I'm doing uh, effects on Facebook anymore until I find something better. Um, this is a bit annoying. It is pretty, but it's a bit annoying. And my lipstick is red. And it really isn't red. It's more of a burgundy and my hair looks like I dyed it it looks red and it's really not it's really still brown with gray highlight um, but anyway God bless you all let us pray God we just come to you and we just thank you God because you are all powerful and Jesus is all powerful and the Holy Spirit is all powerful too God and you know all have different attributes that you do but all together y'all are one perfect um, and God three in one and God we just praise you and thank you and we just pray God for unity and peace and love and compassion in our country and we pray for that for all over the world we just pray for this, that it only comes through Jesus, God. So we just pray for a mighty revival where the name of Jesus is the only name that is proclaimed in the streets of our country and in the streets all over the world. God, we just pray for a revival that cannot be stopped, a Jesus movement that cannot be stopped, God, that people will open their eyes and their ears to the truth and that they will be drawn by the Holy Spirit to Jesus for salvation. God, we pray for all the sick people that we know. God, we pray for uh, Luis and Jace and Austin, God, that are sick right now. We just pray for healing for them and strength, God. We pray for Mr. Mike. We pray for Josie. We pray for all the other people that we know that are sick. We pray for healing for them, God. We just pray for... Um, we just pray, God. We are thankful to have electricity this week. We are thankful, God, for the warmer temperatures. We just uh, also lift up this tragedy in Texas that happened in Cameron, God. I'm not even real sure where Cameron is. I'll have to look that up. But, God, we just pray 
for all involved in that. We pray for um, that God you would help us to be more in your presence every day and that you would help us, you would give us boldness to testify of your goodness, your power, all the many things that you do for us, God, and that we would use those things to encourage others. God, we just pray that you would help us to shine the light of Jesus to everyone that we meet or everyone that we see, everyone that we come in contact with. God, we just thank you and we just praise you. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. Well, I am going to get off of here. I think these special effects are maybe making me have a headache. Or maybe it's that I haven't had enough water to drink today. But my head is kind of hurting. Okay. Well, I love you all. Have a blessed rest of your evening and an awesome tomorrow. And good night.